So today I'm going to show you how to grow some spruce trees from seeds. Right then, let's get straight into the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today. We're today going to be showing you how to grow some spruce trees like these. They will obviously grow a lot, lot bigger. These are my last ones. Got three nice little trees there. That was only a very, very small batch. I think only planted four seeds in there. One died, one tree died, but yeah, that was a small batch. And today I'm going to plant some blue spruce. But blue spruce, no way spruce, plant them exactly the same. Any other sort of spruce as well? Pretty much the same thing. So if you're not subscribed already, click subscribe because I do many different types of videos on this channel, such as videos like this and I do allotment videos as well. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. So first you're good to want three main things to get the seed started because they need a dormancy period. Best way to do that is in the fridge. You can keep an eye on them and everything. So I always do paper towel, bag, obviously you need some seeds. So I've got some Norway spruce there. You want a bag or a tub. A tub, put some little holes in the top. If you've got a bag like this, just bunch your tub at the top. You want to put a label on it, the date you're putting them in the fridge. So you know in six weeks time, you can take them out of the fridge, four to six weeks I'd say. I always put it in pencil because then the moisture doesn't you know, get the ink everywhere if you use a pen. So use pencil, best way. Sanitape it on nicely. And you'll need some kitchen roll to get the seeds started. So you put the seeds in the kitchen roll. So I think I might need a tray for that. So I'm a bit unprepared. So let me get a tray quickly. So I'm just going to use the top of an old little fish tank that I've got. Um, so what I'm going to do so I've got four sheets of kitchen roll here. I'm going to open it up so we've got two pieces. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is unravel my string on my packet. Put that to the side. Got some growing instructions there. So, there we go, that's what the seeds look like, they're quite small. So what you're good to do, put a few in your hand, I'm not doing many this batch. So, I'm just going to put those up there and bundle them up in a bit. So I'm not going to do that many, enough to fill this pot. So what you want to do, is you want to get them on the paper towel and sprinkle them out, make sure they aren't touching then if they do start to root whilst they're in the dormancy the roots may get tangled up if they're touching each other so so I put them like that so that's all good so I don't know if you can see how I've done that then I'm going to get an, another piece of towel fold it over like that with the so that's now four pieces so sandwiched between two pieces on each side so then I'm going to fold it over like this. Like that, nice and simple. So if you do get to, sometimes you get may get a little bit of mould on your towel, like three weeks in. So just swap it over gently, it, it should be all right. So I'm going to get some water. I'm just going to give it a nice little soak. Make sure it's not wet, but moist. So I've got some water here. What I'm going to do, you just drizzle it over, try and get it on all, all the parts. I'm going to turn it over and do it on the other side just to be safe. So that is actually quite wet, so I'm going to squeeze it out. If you can squeeze loads of water out, that's not good. If you just squeeze it a little bit, it just drips off. That, that, that should be all right. So that's how you do that. You want to get your bag. Just put it in there, like that. Then, just gonna get it like that. Punch it up, just shove it in now, ever. So, yeah, so that lets air circulation in, and that's, that's what you want. So, put that in the fridge for about four to six weeks. Check on them every 
two weeks. So just to check if they're doing all right. And yeah, that's what you do for that part. So here I have some blue spruce, pretty much exactly the same. It just goes a bit slower and obviously it's a different color. Let's try and get it out of the bag. So this is the first time I've checked on them in two weeks. I did swap the towel on two weeks in, so I think this has been four weeks, almost five now. So I'm just gonna open it up. Uh, I might actually need that um, tray again. Just put that on top of uh, just a nice cleanish surface if you want. So you want to open it up and use this as a good example. As you can see, I don't know if the camera will focus, but it has started to root. So they need planting. I might need to get in this just this tray to balance this on. Just make things a little bit easier. Then what we want to do is get any multi-purpose compost. Make sure it's like at least a little bit fine. Make sure it's not like this big unbroken down clumps all in it. If you want to give it a sieve. I'm just gonna put some Jack's magic in it. Yeah, nice bit in. That is quite dry, so I'm just gonna put some water on it. Let that soak down. So this bit, I would recommend drying your hands because otherwise you won't be able to get the seeds off your hands when you go to put them in the pot. So just firm that down a bit. What you want to do is get your seeds. You can, write, can plant them in their own little pots if you want, but I just find planting them in one medium pot and then splitting them up when they are a bit bigger. And then, you know, you're not wasting compost or anything if one decides not to grow. Yeah, just the same, about a centimetre apart should be enough. They're only going to be in here for about a season. So they're only going to grow about a centimetre in that se first season anyway. So I'm going to keep these under grow lights until it gets warmer anyway. So they should have a little head start. Try and get all these seeds. If you do get a bit of towel with it. It doesn't matter. At least you can then see where you put one. So I'm gonna get the rest of these in and then I'll join you guys in one minute. So now you've got them all in like that, just get the old towel and chuck that out. I'm gonna chuck it down there for now and put it in the bin in a minute. I'm gonna get some more compost and just put a handful over like that. Just so the, the very maximum, about one and a half centimetres, about half an inch below the surface. You don't want to plant them too high, you don't want to plant them too deep. There's no, I, I won't say there's any precise with it, there's just put it in, not too deep, not too shallow. So yeah, that's how you do that, just gently water that in. In about two to three weeks, maybe a week, you should start seeing them starting to come up. And then within about six months, they should look like that if they're constantly under a grow light. But if you're just growing them naturally outside, they may only just grow a centimetre in the first season, but they can get quite big, very big in fact. So that's that batch. I'm gonna put these under the grow light and put the other ones in the fridge and always spruce these ones in the fridge so yeah that was just a another little video for you guys i did do a video on this last year so yeah this should just be a bit more better explained version of it so a bit easier to understand if you want a bit more information so yeah thank you very much for watching remember to hit that subscribe button i'm gonna try and upload twice a week maybe once a week i'm just still trialing it out
so yeah hit that subscribe button hit that like it really does help out and um, leave a comment I'd like to hear what you think of it and um, any feedback so yeah I guess that's about it for this video and I guess I'll see you guys all in the next one bye bye everybody